with silver demand up. Why is silver still low? We're going to talk about that in this video, so stay tuned. Here's my website, PorschmanQuinshop.com. If you get a chance, come over here and take a look at what we have to offer. We do have new 2021s. We have the 69s, also mint state 70s. And we have some emergency 2020s still in stock. Also, we have other coins, uh, graded coins, Morgan dollars. So get a chance, check out PorschmanCoinshop.com. Also, check out Mint State Coin Technologies. Check out our Coin Values application. Also, check out our Stack Tracker. Come over here to Mint State Coin Technologies and subscribe to our channel and watch our videos. Okay, before we get started on this, I am not doing this video to justify my premiums. Okay, but the biggest complaint I hear is the premiums. So since it's a subject matter, since it's a complaint, I want to try to put things in better perspective from my view, my opinion. This is all my opinion based on some facts that I see, because obviously I make a living doing this, and I sell a lot of silver and gold and other kind of coins. So that's what I do. I just want people to understand that we're in more of a collector's market. That's just how it is. Let's just enjoy it. And let's get on with what I want to talk about what the real value of physical silver is, in my opinion. So it's a fact. Silver demand is at an all-time high. Places like Scottsdale Mint, JM Bullion, SD Bullion, Atmex, I get the emails from all these companies. I see the articles. They're, the demand is just for physical, I should say. It's, it's physicals. It's, you can't find silver. I mean, you can get on JM Bullion site, and I mean, even today, we can look at uh, what they have in, available in silver. Now, let's say silver coins and American Eagles and American Eagles again. <laughs> and scroll down and see, you know, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. And people have called and asking for bars. You know, we don't have one ounce bars currently. We do try to buy that stuff as far as one ounce bars are concerned. And I, I, here's the bars. We can take a look at that, see if they have any of those available. I went with the one ounce. Out of stock. I mean, this is the problem. I mean, we have this huge physical demand. People are buying silver at a high rate. I've not seen anything like it myself. I doubt anybody else has. Maybe, maybe in a particular time in, in, in a business, maybe they say, yeah, I've seen it like this. But most businesses have not seen it like this. So why is silver still at $26 an ounce? Why is it not $40 and $50 an ounce? Now, I mean, we can look over here at Kitco. Kitco is just one of the many places that you can see charts and read articles on the latest market trends, why something did something, why silver went up, why silver went down. I visit this site every single day, multiple times a day for the, for the last several years, years. I mean, I used to use their charts on my website. So silver's $26.40, but yet you can't get physical silver unless you go out of your way and call around. And, and I'm sure there's some, you can go to your local coin shop and buy something. But it's not like it's easily available everywhere. And, I mean, you can come up with all kinds of excuses. You can say, well, you know, the industry's buying it up or the dollar is doing really well and the stock market's doing good, so it drops. Well, why does it drop if the stock market's doing good? Why does it drop if the job market report comes in and it's good? Why? It's not like... Just reporting on it itself causes it to drop or lower. People have to sell it or buy it. And to affect this chart right here, and I'm only talking about this right here, to affect this chart the most is going to be paper. Okay, and when I say paper, I'm talking about people buying their shorts and long terms and they're buying their uh, ETFs. I'm not saying... Uh, talking about this as a coin channel, I mean, I'm definitely not trying to tell you I know everything about this. But I know that to move this a couple dollars an ounce, the silver, I mean, I think it was a billion or two um, ounces, but it wasn't physical. Physical silver, I, there's dealers that sell hundreds of thousands a day. 
that nobody counts and then reports to the stock market, reports to Wall Street, reports on the public, you know, that this is how much I sold. It doesn't happen. So in reality, we don't know what the actual physical worth of silver is. Now, the reason I say this is only because I know for a fact that there's a lot of silver that's being traded that's not, has anything to do with this chart right here. It has nothing to do with what they put. There is some, obviously, but most of this is not. Most of this is just digital trading. I mean, we're looking at digital here. I mean, this is what people have to understand. This is all digital. Everything that's traded on here, I mean, people on their computers and they're trading and they're buying and they're selling and they're doing what they do, okay? So job market comes out and it's good. So then people <laughs> buy into other things and sell off some of their silver. It's always manipulated a little bit. It's played. It's it's legal. That's, you know, if it's not legal, then the government comes in, does their investigation and whatever. But the, the point of it is, is that I'm not talking about illegal things here. I'm just talking that all this physical that's being sold is not being accounted for. And I'm not, I don't want it to be accounted for. That's not the point, but people are carrying on about the premiums. Well, the premiums aren't as bad as people think they are because the actual demand for an actual price of Physical silver is more than what the paper is right now. And it's outpaced it. Okay, everybody wants the physical. Everybody's trying to get the physical, and nobody really cares about that paper much at all. I mean, it's a game to play with. It's a digital game to play with is what it is. Sure. But all this is supposed to be backed by physical silver. But, you know, it, 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 that is what it is. I'm not even getting into that. I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm a coin dealer. I know a little bit about this stuff. I know enough to survive it. I know what I see every single day. I know what other dealers are saying. I know what other bullion companies are saying. I do know that because, I mean, I hear it. I hear the buzz. I see it. And I know because I'm trying to buy it. I'm buying as much as I can. I've got a huge buy coming in today from another dealer, and it, he knows it. He's the same way as me. It's hard to get it for a good price, and it's definitely easy to sell. So to me, the real value of silver is how much it costs to buy the an ounce of silver. Like, let's say the most generic of generic rounds. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just go to the generic round. And let's say a generic round is selling on the market for, you know what, $35. I, I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's just see if we can find any generic rounds at all on the market here. See if I can come up with something. Remember, J and Boy, or I like J and Boy, and their prices seem to be pretty in line with or a little bit less than the most of them. But let's just take a look. Let's do silver round. And okay. So availability in stock. So here we go. We've got and, and this says let me go to the sunshine. This as low as 3186. If you want to use credit card, PayPal or whatever, it's going to cost you $34.12. So typically three to four dollars, maybe even five dollars tops would be a premium on an ounce. So let's say that's the case. That puts silver basically at $30, $31, $29 an ounce right now. So to me, and I'm like I said, I'm not making the rules. I'm not the guy that's the expert on all this. I'm not even claiming that. But to me, actual value of silver right now, physical, is $29 to $31 an ounce. That would be my opinion on it. It just seems like it should be a lot more, should be closer to $30 right now. And maybe it should be more. I, I don't know. People say it's been suppressed. It's a, You can put that in, your, in my comments and say things like that. That's fine. I don't have a problem with it. But, you know, like I said, it just seems to me it should at least be $30 an ounce right now. And that's where I would feel comfortable with it. Hopefully this continues. I love to see this market continue, this demand, people buying and buying because I mean, when you think about Indian cents and you think about large cents and you think about three cent nickels, you think about non-silver coins that people buy all the time, okay? I mean, like an 1877 Indian cent or any of these other coins that, that you can say that's non-precious metal, they all sell for way above their melt, way above their melt. I mean, when you sell an Indian cent for a dollar, I mean, that's, <laughs> look how much more than the melt value that is. I mean, we're talking about a two or three cents on the melt value. I think it's two cents or something like that. I haven't looked at copper lately, but that is a huge markup over the actual melt. So really, is it a good idea to get away from the charts when you're, you're buying coins? Because these are really coins. I mean, yeah, you're getting ounce of silver on some of this, but silver eagles, for instance, they're really coins. They're really silver dollars. 
and people have been paying over a premium on silver dollars for a long time. So it's not really like it's a bad thing at all that people are paying a, a large premium because they're collecting. So anyways, I just wanted to throw that in there. Thanks for watching my latest video. You can put in the comments what you think. Don't put in the comments what you think of me. Put in the comments what you think of the market. What's your take on it? I don't, I don't, my, what you think about me doesn't matter. <laughs> so anyways, like, share, comment, and have a great day.